When you're putting together a radome assembly in harsh environments, you need to get it done as efficiently and safely as possible. Infinite Technologies has the tried and tested solution. A radome is an environmental cover that goes over a radar system to protect it from the environment and still allow that system to transmit through it. This technology affects the Air Force mission in the fact that it provides a greater operational time for the elements that uh, are covered by these radomes. When we first started working with the Air Force on the SBIR program, we had some ideas and concepts on fastening as well as radome panels, bringing panels together in a, a quick, rapid way. It's the technologies that we have developed have been proven, tested, and are actually providing lower cost systems, safer environments, more reliable, durable hardware than in the past. These technologies that have been developed and the Air Force SBIR program are very large. From a time standpoint, it reduces the initial time of installation and eliminates current planned maintenance schedules and stretches them out significantly. And that generates not only time savings in manpower as well as cost savings and cost avoidance, bringing the total life cycle cost down significantly for these hardware elements for the Air Force. Our office is responsible to uh, do field maintenance and repair uh, on shelters, radomes, and towers. We have a lot of these assets are in some very harsh conditions. We've got some of these in very remote areas of Alaska that get snow and ice blasting on them in all environments, corrosive and arid environments. Some of these sites are very expensive to get to. You have to take charter flights just to get to them. It's tough to get material there. Weather is one of our biggest issues. If it starts getting up over 25 miles an hour, it becomes unsafe to work on the outside of them. Sometimes they sit waiting to get to the site. They get to the site, they're weathered in, or they get there and they can't work. And just one maintenance action on a ray dome can cost as much as $75,000. So reducing our maintenance costs and how often we have to go visit these ray domes really is a significant savings in dollars. And that's what we've been working on this effort with Infinite Technologies is their experience with ray domes. They understood our, our issues and they have been working with us to develop these new technologies to reduce our maintenance costs. Uh, they've been a part of our team, a very good part of our team. We did a cost-benefit analysis to see if there was really a payback to develop better technology, longer life radomes. And it showed that if we took all the radomes in the Air Force and put this new technology on, we should get around a 200 plus million dollar savings. We push forward and we're looking to replace one of the radomes that goes on the early warning system. Instead of having to perform maintenance every one to three years, we can extend that out to 15 years. And we're expecting to save about four million dollars over the remaining life of that system in maintenance costs. You know, this is actually our very first Air Force uh, SBIR. Uh, and it's been a great experience from the people that we've dealt with uh, to the way it's structured for the process. It's been a great program. Dave Lindquist is our technical point of contact on this Air Force SBIR. The role he plays has been invaluable. Uh, he's been a traffic cop, navigator, a support as we have worked through the process and we have come to a, a block where we weren't quite sure what to do or how to do it. Dave would guide us in what we needed to do who we needed to talk to and how we needed to continue with the program. The role our technical analyst plays is also key in helping us understand the process with the Air Force SBIR programs. How we proceed, how we move forward with other ideas that have been spawned from the technology that we're currently working on. How those can get implemented, developed and commercialized. Our company has been uh, solely funded for these technology developments by internal dollars and by the Air Force's SBIR effort. We would have never been able to make this happen without the SBIR program. The structure of the program uh, drives success and pushes for success from the businesses. When we first started the technology, the government was our main uh, customer. We have now been successful in being able to take this technology not only to the government, multiple government agencies, the Air Force, the Marine Corps, 
the Army, the Navy, they've all been purchasing this technology from us and, and benefiting from it. But we have also taken this technology and commercialized it worldwide. So our main customer is the world.